I am Dewi Chandraning Room. I paint every day with my autistic son in the house. Besides painting, I also teaching mostly on gender, ecology and religion. I've been working on uh, ecology and gender and specifically focus on the climate change in the last uh, seven years. The painting here reflect uh, the research that I've done as well as the uh, our support to the women's cause uh, on ecology. Women are important uh, in the in this era of climate crisis because women are the most uh, vulnerable group uh, in facing climate change, and women are also not uh, trained better to be adaptive uh, to climate change. Philosophically, we could mention patriarchy as the scapegoat of of all the bad destiny that we have as a women in Indonesia as well as in Southeast Asia. But in recent years, we have even multiple problems. Uh, for example, the, the boom of the dem uh, demography, uh, that, that means that the burden of the women are um, uh, heavier compared to the past time. And in Indonesia, we also uh, the second highest uh, after Cambodia of child marriage uh, as well as the maternal mortality rate. So it closely links to climate crisis because the more women taking care of the domestic arena, then the more vulnerable they are facing the climate crisis. There is always a relevant link between feminine uh, traits connecting to female, our femaleness, and masculine traits uh, related to maleness. Not in essentialist way that male are all the time destroyer or women are all the time uh, nurturer, but uh, it is by the way our parent, our tradition, our ritual, uh, up bringing us women uh, who are responsible uh, uh, to cook uh, the food, to uh, manage the water, uh, as well as uh, raising the children. That is stated in our traditional way. But in reality, even in the 21st century, even in the city, even in the urban area, yes, we did that, we do that. And in the future, we, we, still, we are still doing that. The worst thing is that the economy system or the government or the policy did not, do not, and even in the future, consider that work as uh, valuable. That's why uh, women are always and most of the time vulnerable to climate change. For example, male uh, need only one gallon water. But we as a woman, we have to cook, we have to wash the dishes, we have to take care of our menstruation. If I uh, have to babysit uh, my baby, then I will need more water. So that's why women shall sit at the decision uh, table. When uh, the economic system or when the government see a mountain as just a material to, to make a cement, and for us women seeing the mountain as a living thing, as a source of water, then there are a class of few, what we see and what they see, what they see. Although it is not binary, but it will in the future, even in the next 50 years, if the mountain will be mine, we will lose everything. We will lose the water, we cannot feed our children. And then there are mass of urbanization, there are mass of trafficking of women, to uh, foreign countries like in Saudi Arabia, in Malaysia, in Hong Kong, because women cannot live again in their area. The space for women inside the government is also important because uh, most of the government in Southeast Asia is too patriarchal, quote unquote, uh, seeing the, 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 the earth as just natural resources, not, not a living being which is equal and important for us. And then uh, in the economic system, there are uh, like a priority view to the environmental services. 
my research in 2010 in Cilacap, women are more vulnerable to the pollution compared to males. So there, there were 24 women are contracted with cancer compared to 12 uh, male contracted with cancer. It means that uh, our reproductive system is, uh, is more complex. We are more prone to uh, pollutant compared to male. But the problem of the climate crisis and global heating is that that uh, unlimited resources are now becoming limited because climate crisis and global heating is, is really one of the failure of humanity. And even in 2050, we have more plastic than fish in the ocean. It is not me or women in my era who will face a tremendous or the highest hit of the climate crisis, but it is our children who will face that. Although I am pessimistic to humanity, uh, we are still living and this is our only chance to save the Mother Earth. Uh, Mother Earth is the only source of life that we are now having. We do not have planet B or planet C. So for the rest of our life, uh, fight hard for Mother Earth in saving Mother Earth. That's the only chance that we have.